Hi everyone, this is Paul with Dire Dynamics. Today I'm going to be narrating a resistor installation video. It was kind of noise in our garage. As you can see, we installed LEDs on this Lotus Elise and we got some hyperblinking. And that's due to the vehicle thinking the bulbs out because the LEDs use a lot less power. We can fix that by installing resistors. The first thing we're going to do is identify the wires being used. The black wire is ground all the time and the red wire can vary by your vehicle, but that's the positive. So you need turn signal positive and then the ground. You might have three wires if you have a dual filament bulb. Usually the turn signal power is a blue or a green wire, and the parking light, which is the one you don't use, is a brown or it might have a stripe on it. Basically, um, for the positive, it was pretty clear here with the red wire being positive, but if you're not sure, you got a 50-50 chance. Um, you can just re-splice on the other wire if you're really not sure. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is get our splice here, and we'll put the braided wire from the resistor into the inside. As you can see, it's uh, blocked off on one side, so we just put that in as far as it'll go. And then we'll put it, the splice itself onto the red wire, which is the wire being spliced here. We want to make sure that the splice is fully on the wire, and we want to get the wire in the groove. With some light here, you can see um, it's not quite in there. So we want to push it all the way so that it's in the groove in the splice itself so that we'll get a good splice. We also want to make sure that braided wire is pushed in as far as it'll go because you know it might easily pop out and not get the splice when we press down here with the pliers. So you'll just use those pliers to push the metal piece of the splice down. Just push it down firmly and you can see that metal piece has gone through the red wire there. Once it's all the way pushed down, you do want to double check to make sure that the splice is good. First of all, you're going to check that braided wire. You'll just pull on it and make sure that the splice has snagged it. And then also you can see there that metal piece shows that the metal has gone through the red wire and it is in that groove. We're going to clip it up and move right on to the next wire. So this is our negative side. Again, we're going to uh, line them up there and get our other splice. And uh, you can see on one end it's stopped off. So there's the stopper on one end. Just push it through as far as it'll go. And then put it onto the black wire. Same procedure here, just make sure the black wire gets in that groove on the, uh, on the quick splice. Make sure we're pushing that braided wire as far as it'll go. And then grab your pliers and firmly press down on the metal to make the splice. Now again, once we uh, make that splice firmly, we are going to check just to make sure it's in. We'll pull on that braided wire to make sure we snagged it and then look at that metal piece, make sure the black wire is fully spliced, and then clip it up and, re and we're ready to go. We just have to mount it now. Uh, as you might have heard, resistors get hot, that's how they work. Uh, so we do recommend mounting it to a metal body part if possible, such as the frame. Um, if not, just avoid any soft rubber or wiring. Uh, it get, basically gets as hot as a light bulb, so you just want to kind of usually avoid any rubber pieces. Um, any hard plastic or metal will be just fine. All we have to do now is reinstall our bulb. This is an 11 watt bulb from Dive Dynamics. And then we are good to go. As you can see, now we have LEDs, 11 watt from Dive Dynamics, installed and blinking at normal speed. I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions, please don't have, hesitate to give us a call. Whether you got the bulbs from us or not, we'd be happy to help you install your resistors so that they're blinking at the normal speed. Again, my name is Paul, and I'm with Dive Dynamics. Thanks for watching.